My name is Ferriel Ozel. I'm an astrophysicist. I'm a professor at the University of Arizona. We see a lot of differences in the behaviors of black holes. Some are very bright, meaning they're interacting with their surroundings very strongly, eating a lot of gas and stars all at once. Others are quieter, um, and even among the quieter ones, for example, Sagittarius A star, our own black hole, versus the black hole at the center of galaxy M87, we see tremendous differences. Ours is kind of calm, and it doesn't have any jets that we can see, these structures that are jutting out of the black hole uh, accretion disk, whereas M87's um, jets are tremendous. We can see it in pretty much every wavelength of light that we look at, and they're the size of the galaxy. Now, looking at it naively, Sagittarius A star and M87 are pretty close cousins. They are both quiescent. They are both in um, nearby galaxies. So what is the difference between them? What is it that affects their behavior? And by looking at the images at extremely high resolution and looking at the black hole all the way down to this drain, getting close to its event horizon where matter disappears, we're hoping to get some answers to these unsolved questions. Um, I am a Priyamvada Natarajan. I'm an astrophysicist and I teach at Yale. The big open question is one of how the first black hole seeds formed, right? And the traditional explanation is what I have told you, that you have stars, the first stars formed, and they, the massive ones ended up as little black holes, right? And the, but the key conundrum is that we are detecting quasars, these actively growing black holes, very, very early on in the universe, when the universe was a fraction of its current age, right? And we've detected them. They are so bright that we know that they are powered by gas falling into black holes that are already at that time a billion times the mass of the sun. And there's a timing problem. There's a timing crunch. There's very little time when the first stars form and the black holes that they leave, those are maybe 10 times the mass of the sun. But what we see as growing black holes are a billion times the mass of the sun. So one of the uh, possibilities is that me and a collaborator of mine a decade ago proposed a new channel to make the first seed black holes. And this new way to make them would make them be much more massive from the get-go. You bypass the formation of a star, and in the very early universe, from just gas in early proto-galaxies, you could form these very, very massive initial seed black holes.